down the street in my six foe. Got the window. Pockets full of hundreds, no singles. Pockets full of hundreds, no singles. Cruising down the street in my six foe. set for the World Series. Game one is next. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Coming up, game one of the World Series on MLB The Show. It's the Houston Astros going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. There may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the fall classic, Singy. Lots of excitement to get this thing started. Yeah, and the players feel that just as much as the fans. You're down there with goosebumps, and these guys are just trying to stay in the moment. But I'll tell you, for the home team especially, it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now. And on the other side, of course, you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So the Pirates batting order turns over. Here's O'Neill Cruz. He's already homered in this game. Ball one, no strikes. Action in the pen down there. Rafael Montero up and loosening in the pen. Stanek getting loose as well. The 1-0. And that's downstairs and outside. Well, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. The pitch. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Alvarez pulls it in on the run. The Brian Reynolds here. So far, the playoffs have not been kind to him, but tonight, a chance to start anew. So much of this game is mental. He's just got to tell himself, I'm here. I've worked hard all year. Dives, but it's off his glove. There's one on the first save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. That's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. McCormick makes the grab, and that's the inning. So one left for Pittsburgh. Score remains deadlocked at one. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the third baseman, Alex Bregman. Well, it's pretty clear that he was frustrated, and even he admitted as much with his performance in their last series, but now a chance to hit the reset button. That's one of the things he's going to have to get used to, being the superstar player in this lineup. They are going to pitch you very tough, and if you make the adjustment, you can have success. I think you'll have it in this one. Sets him down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Oh, that was a pretty poor at bat. He just never got the bat off of his shoulder. I mean, you got to go up there looking to swing at some point, especially once you're down 0-2. And at that point, make an adjustment, look to put the ball in play if it's anywhere close. And I'm just not sure what the plan was there. Jose Abreu up to hit. And that's in there for strike one. Jack swing went around. 0 oh, 2. Oh. 
in the dirt. Gets it to first, and two away to start the seven. Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at-bat. And next to hit for Houston, Jeremy Pena. First pitch, just misses. And another ball. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss there. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Fastball for a strike. And the count is even two and two. A wide to kick the pitch. Set down on strikes. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. All tied 1-1. One, one. Back here in Pittsburgh, and here is C.J. Crone. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Pirates being a little too patient at the plate in this game. Sometimes it's a good thing, but today they're continuing to fall behind in the count, and that's adding a ton of pressure to their offense. The 0-2. In the dirt. Throw to first. In time to get him. One away in the strikeout. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. McCormick ranging back on it. And out of here! That fires up the home crowd, and they jump out front. It's 2-1. Two, two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. What I love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball, letting that bat head get down through the ball to create backspin and hit it out of the ballpark. Really nice job. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Well, on the mound, this is a spot where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind on the scoreboard. Start fresh and get those hitters back up to the plate as quickly as possible. One down, base is empty. Hit hard, that gets through. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. You got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. Anthony Santander at the plate. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Hurt yourself swinging at that and missing. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. And a pitch. Right, Foul ball still a one and two count.
and the pitch. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. G1 Bay, the next pirate to hit. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. Well, just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Bregman is under it. One in the inning for the Pirates on this solo homer. And it's now a 2 1 ball game. You're watching the World Series on the show. This kid, the greatest, is flaming the soul, yes. Breaking down the young and what I owe them. Back here at PNC Park, ready to begin the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. The pitch. Bounced out to short. Cruz zips it across. First out in the top of the eighth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Lee in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Next offering is fouled back. A healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Here's a one two. Got him! Snap throw. So the batting order turns over. We'll say Altuve up to hit here. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, they say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. There's a little bit more confidence to move through the at-bat. The 0-1 oh, is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. There's a strike. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. One and two now. Altuve waits. That's inside. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where pitchers would probably just... Ah, oh, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Astros go to the pen, and here comes Rafael Montero. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Here's the catcher, Andy Rodriguez. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Right side. Abreu tosses to the pitcher covering the bag and a quick out number one. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Montero, a former All-Star, 32 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Cruz, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. The Astros have some action in their pen. Phil Maton getting loose out there. That misses, and it's a ball to strike. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Next offering upstairs. And that is cut on and missed. Two and two now. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. And that one is lifted in the air. McCormick 
has it sized up. Squeezes it. That's out number two. The center fielder, number 10. Two outs, base is empty. Up next for the Pirates, Brian Reynolds. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And that one is inside. That misses. Three balls, no strikes. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Swing and a miss, and it's three and one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And that gets down for a base hit. So the inning still alive with Andrew McCutcheon coming to the dish. So two down. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Center field. And makes the grab. And that's the inning. So one hit is all they get. We're on to the ninth in game one. It's the Pirates two and the Astros one. And welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the DH. Michael Brantley. May back to work. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Well, he's back out there to pitch the ninth and about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, this is exciting. I hope they let him finish this one. Makes the catch for the out. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Clips the corner. That's strike one. Ball one there. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 oh, count. Instead, it's 1-1. One, one. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. That one hit to right. Get the out on Alvarez. And there are two down. Here's Kyle Tucker. First offering, and it just misses. Lifted in the air, right center field. Santander in pursuit. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Pirates hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. So the Pittsburgh Pirates take game one as they get their World Series off to a great start. Yeah, from their performance today, it'd be easy to see him keep this thing going. And this is just a determined team, Boog. I like what I saw from them. And across the diamond, it's time to regroup. Being down 1-0 isn't the end of the world, but game two takes on a lot of extra meaning for them. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Houston Astros going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. 
A big game two in store for us here today, Chris. And the series started out like you might expect. The home side taking care of business in game one. But this game today, it's going to reveal a lot about what this series will become. Will it be a battle for six or seven games? Or will it be a walkover? Those are the questions that we start getting more clarity on after game two. I have a feeling it's going to be a good one, Chris. This should be fun. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Go ahead, run on base. And now here is Kyle Tucker. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. That misses. One and one. At the belt and fires. Foul ball. Alvarez on at first. Nobody out. The one one is fouled off. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Into center. Reynolds makes the catch. One down. Now that the third base. And now it's Alex Bregman. Maybe a two ball. Five. Fires across the diamond. And they get Bregman for the out. Jose Abreu up to hit. Swing it a foul straight back. Runner at second. Two down. Next offering way off the plate. And that's in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. One, two now. Swing and a miss, struck him out. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Eight, nine, one scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. And we still have no score. Welcome back. Well, we go bottom we go. six We're at the Pirates. plate for Pittsburgh. Rodolfo Castro. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Robert Valdez had a great 2022. An all-star and, of course, as well, his Astros won the World Series. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Yeah, Boog, in an ERA of under three, Pitched over 200 innings and looked like they were easy innings for him. And finished fifth in the American League Cy Young Award voting. The punch out there. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Andy Rodriguez, the next pirate to hit. That one missed. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. Fly ball pretty well struck right field. Tucker ranging back. Back some more. Bangs off the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. So the lineup flips over. O'Neill Cruz digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. Puts it in the air out towards left center. 
Brings it in. And there's two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Brian Reynolds here. And here's a slow roller. Pena tosses the first inning over. One hit, one left. We had back here at the ballpark. And now Jeremy Pena. Jeremy. The wind of the pitch. That one drilled left field. That's back there. It bangs off the wall. Reynolds hustles to get it in. Runner holds it second, so another base hit could get us the first run of the game. Wastes no time there. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing nope, and a fraction of an inch different on the bat, and it is probably out of here. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. And the right-hander deals. There's a strike. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. Next pitch is downstairs. Oh, that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Next offering is fouled back. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Get him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Here's Corey Lee. That one's in there, 0 oh 1. One out. The go ahead run is at second. Next pitch is popped up. Prone has it sized up. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter. Looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Altuve swings through it for strike one. Next pitch is outside. And one and one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Two down, go ahead run in scoring position. Out to center, Reynolds gets under it. Makes the grab, and that is that. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there, I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Bottom of the seventh to the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH. Andrew McCutcheon. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh, they haven't scored yet in this game, and with that swing, definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. Swings and misses. 0-2 oh, now. Kicks and fires. Foul ball still 0-2. Oh, well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that one is off the wall. Tucker hustles to get it in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And here is C.J. Crone. And there's the strike.
got him swinging. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because Ward will get around the league in a hurry. And he deals. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Coming home. He'll score easily. On the board first, it's one zip. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. One down, runner at first. Key Brian Hayes, the next Pirate to hit. First offering misses the mark. Now fly ball to right center. Tucker tracks it down for the out. The relay back to first, and they got him. Double play. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a one nothing ball game. This is the World Series on the show. All set for the start of the inning. Michael Brantley stands in. Ben, this has been impressive. Just now getting to 100 pitches as we start this eighth inning. He's given them a lot of length, and we'll see just how much longer they'll let him go. Pirates with a new arm on the mound, Yancy Almonte. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. Ball one, no strikes. And a strike in there. Next pitch way upstairs. That's to third, Hayes. And they get Brantley for the out. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Position perfectly. Here's Jordan Alvarez. One for three. Pitch misses inside, and it's one and oh. And downstairs. one outside and now three balls and a strike Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros the tying run at the plate and fouled off just missed if he's able to connect on that look out left hand hitter waits and the tying run is on base his ability to draw walks has been something it's been part of his career since day one. Substitution now at first base. Astros going with a pinch runner, Jake Myers. Here's Kyle Tucker. In there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Myers, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next offering misses, and that is ball one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The 1-2. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. 1-2 now. And that's a strikeout looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. 
It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. First offering, runner goes. This ball's chopped to the ground, and it gets by him. Now, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Just find a hole, right? That's the name of the game as a hitter, and obviously there are better ways to do it than a scribber through the infield, but sometimes you get lucky just putting it in play. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. And a swing and a miss. Snap throw. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Yeah, we in go mode. Going, going. Yeah, we in go mode. Going. Now into the ball game on defense, Jake Myers. He'll be out in left field. Also into the ball game, David Hensley. He's the new third baseman. Now at third base, number Well, one run game. Anthony Santander at the plate. The right fielder. Valdez back to work. And that one is inside ball one. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind, seeing that pitch out of the hand and hit it hard somewhere. The next offering misses. Two and two. And he grounds one back up the middle. Over to Abreu. One up, one down. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Rodolfo Castro. The switch hitter batting right. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And there's a ball. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. One down, base is empty. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Drops into the glove. And there's two away. That hanging, breaking ball looks so juicy to the hitter. And nothing more frustrating when you miss that pitch and you pop out. He's going to have to think about that till his next at bat. That one fouled off. Oh, what a stop. Over to first. In time. Got him. And that'll do it. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. New inning getting started. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. David Bednar gets the call from the pen. But I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. The pitch. Strike one. And he takes a strike. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. And a pitch. Check swing, appeal to first. No swing, just held it back there. Popped up. Castro moving under this one. And out number one on the grab. 
Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. McCormick, the next to hit, takes high for ball one. Here's the strike. This one in the air right field. And it drops in. So a man aboard now with one away. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Perfectly executed 12-6 curveball right there. And with that kind of break, if you can drop it in below the zone like that, it's going to look like a strike the entire way coming in and then just disappear. So hard to get under the ball unless you're really gearing up for it and you might need a pitching wet. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. That pitch in for a strike. And it's all in one. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Steps on the bag himself, ball game. So the Pittsburgh Pirates have taken charge of this World Series. They're up 2-0, heading into game three. And maybe a change of venue will shake things up a little bit, but for now, they look like they're ready to start etching their name on the commissioner's trophy. Still a lot of series left, though. And on the other side, a lot of work to do to get back into this. They need to bounce back next time out. <laughs> festivities for the World Series. Game three is coming up next. Baseball from the Lone Star State. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Houston Astros. With my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. We're looking forward to what's sure to be a dramatic Game 3, Chris. And, Boog, this is as close to an elimination game as you can get without it actually being one. Going down 3-0 with more or less just in this thing. So this game's going to tell us whether we're going to have a real series in store for us or if we're just going to be packing our bags and going home. A lot of people feel these teams are more evenly matched. The first two games would indicate. So we'll see if we get a bounce-back performance in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. And Michael Brantley is going to come up to hit one for two. Packed house here at Minute Maid. Lee, the lead runner at second. Altuve over at first with one away. Next offering way upstairs. Next pitch is popped up. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. There's a strike. 
And that one just missed off the outside edge. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Next one just misses. Two and two. Yeah, that's a little high. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. So they strand a pair. On to the seventh now in game three. It's the Pirates two, and the Astros nothing. We go to the top of the seventh, and now the DH, Andrew McCutcheon. And yeah, the right hander back to work. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Went up there you looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just kept it simple. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here is C.J. Crone. Swings through that one. 0-1. And the righty deals. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. McCutcheon around second, headed for third. Brickman with a relay throw. The tag, and they cut him down, going for two. Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. Makes the catch up against the wall. Runner tags from third. He'll score the sack fly, and they take a three-run lead. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Now batting key Brian Hayes. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And that is that. One run, two hits, no errors, and no one left on. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Pirates three and the Astros nothing. Back here in Houston, here's Kyle Tucker. The Astros in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That one's in there. And that's strike one. That one close, ruled a ball. One ball, one strike. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Dribbled up the third baseline, and foul ball. And here it comes. And it's even up. It's a good take. <laughs> Got it by him for the K. Probably showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one, not just in terms of swing and miss, but also in terms of command. So all the strikeouts, they just kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. Bregman up for the third time here, watches that one miss. On the ground to the left. Hayes to first. And that quickly, two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Out towards right center field. And he pulls up on it. And that's a hit. 
Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. You know what they say. He couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. And the 1-0. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Santander makes the catch inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Pirates three and the Astros nothing. The Astros turn to a new arm of the mound, Rafael Montero. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Here comes a pitch. Santander now in the box comes up empty with a swing there. And that one is lifted in the air. McCormick has it sized up. And there's one away. The batter number three. Second base. Now it's going to be G1 Bay. High fly ball out into left center field. Alvarez in position. Two down. Now batting. Catch it. Up next for the Pirates, Andy Rodriguez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Check swing, but he went too far. And a count one and one. The one one is fouled off. The one two. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. The wind of the pitch. That's towards center. McCormick has it sized up. He makes the grab. And that will end the inning. Down in order go the Pirates. But they lead it 3-0. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And stepping in for the Astros, Chaz McCormick. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Dwayne Underwood Jr. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. The pitch. That one misses, and it's one and one. There's a strike. Cold night like tonight. Oh, Last ball. thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. And that one lifted in the air center field. Reynolds makes the catch. And there's one down. Now batting. Catcher. Here's Corey Lee. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Swing and a miss, and a count one and one. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. We'll say Altuve up to hit here. 
Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. First pitch, and he just misses. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. The 1-1. One -one. And it's fouled away. Right through there. Got him. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Astros are down quietly. Still down 3-0. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Ryan Stanek. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Here's O'Neill Cruz. And a pitch. High fly ball out to center field. McCormick makes the grab. And there's one away. Brian Reynolds here. In the air out towards right center. McCormick grabs it on the run. Two outs, base is empty. Now at the plate, Andrew McCutcheon. One for three. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. This guy's usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. And now the one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Phil Maton appears to be getting loose. Two outs. Bounced up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. And that is that. Offense held in check there. Two, three, four set to hit in the bottom of the nine. It's the Pirates three and the Astros nothing. Bottom of the ninth. Now the number two hitter, Michael Brantley. On the mound now for the Pirates, David Bednar. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. First offering misses the mark. Bednar, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a curve, and occasionally works in a splitter. Righty to the plate. Knocks that one away and will do it again. Right-hander kicks, deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Next offering is foul back. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing by. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Tucker in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Misses. Now one and two. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. On the ground. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Pirates use three pitchers to combine for the shutout. 
so the Pittsburgh Pirates certainly look like they're on their way to the world championship. Yeah, hard to imagine this working out any other way. It doesn't seem like these guys are going to slow down until they've got this title locked up. They're on an absolute mission. And it would take an historic comeback to have this series result any differently at this point. They call me mud and trash. I am just a common fad. Wrote myself a letter for the gods. Now it's crumpled in the bottle. Took a while to start. Like an engine in the winter time. Now I move forward. Not a broken record. I'll be fine. And I live the full for life. Soon I gotta see the bear. Word is looking at me like what's next. Wonder if they care. Me and Alex used to in the park bench. Laying foundations. Turn it to a garden. Yeah. Might not make it to the top. People telling me to stop. Everything could go wrong. Welcome to Houston, Texas and Minute Maid Park. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Houston Astros. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And Singy, there's been a lot to talk about already in this series as we head into game four. Well, the number one thing to discuss is just how lopsided this series has been. You know, you get to this point of the season, Bogan, you expect both teams to be on pretty even ground, but it's not played out that way at all. And when a team takes care of business with such dominance and gets out to a 3-0 lead, I just can't see this series lasting much longer. Yeah, that's usually the way it goes. But hey, coming back to win the series has been done before. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Here's Alex Bregman. And I'd say he's doing. And that one in the air center field. He's got it. Runner tags from third. A big run scores on the sack fly. And now just a two-run deficit. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation. And if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. See if he can get this next out. Could be extra bases. Coming around third is Alvarez. He'll score. And now they trail by one. Throw cut off. Now to the plate. The tag. And he's out. That ends the inning. But they do score a run here. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. Game four heads to the seventh inning now. It's the Pirates four and the Astros three. So a new pitcher out of the bullpen for the Astros, Phil Maton. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better runs in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Now batting key Brian Hayes. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Up the middle. Over to Abreu. And the leadoff intersect down to open the seven. Now the right field. Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swinging a foul straight back. Here's the 0-2. Just off the inside edge. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Rafael Montero getting ready to go. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout way out in front of that inside pitch there and just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes you want to let the ball travel make sure you recognize it try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play clearly fooled but I think even more so you question the two strike approach and a base hit right there and that keeps the inning going the batter 
Here's the Pirates catcher now, Andy Rodriguez. That one ripped. McCormick going back on this one. Looking up and caught on the warning track. Pirates leave one, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. Back here in Houston, set for the last half of the seventh. And now it's going to be Jeremy Pena. Chase DeYoung on a pitch out of the pen here. Gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. And he deals. There's a strike. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. Going to count one and two. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Check swing, no appeal. Now two and two. Next offering is fouled back. The tying run at the plate. No. And now it's filled up. Okay. Hit in the air, right field. Santander makes the grab. One up, one down. And now the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. Fouled off. He was late. And the pitch. They say he went. Next pitch off the play. Ball one. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Just missed. Another one, two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And a one, two again. Two, two. And he dodges that fastball. He wanted that fastball okay. high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. That's in there, and it's one and two. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper. Just swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Nothing across, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Pirates four and the Astros three. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Seth Martinez. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. And a pitch. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And it stays fair. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of standing his mechanics.
Ryan Reynolds here. He's already homered here in this one. That's in there. It's 0 and 1. Runner at second. Nobody out. Smoked on the ground a second. Altuve slings to first. First out in the top of the eighth. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Righty delivers. Swings through that one out in front that time. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the struggles continue in the postseason. Big strikeout right there. And that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in. So now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. And here is C.J. Crone. Not close with that one. And that's ball one. Cruz on third with two out. In the air, center field. McCormick has it sized up. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So one left for Pittsburgh, but they hang on to a one-run lead, 4-3. Back here at Minute Maid Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the DH, Michael Brantley. So they turn things over to the righty, Yancy Almonte. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. The pitch. That one's in there. 0-1. One, one. Now 1-1. One one. Or played umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Looking to get the tying run on base. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. Fights it off. He'll see another. The 1-2. Yeah, that's too high. <laughs> this guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off. Swings and misses, struck him out. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one, any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Here's Jordan Alvarez. In there, and it's 0-1. pitch foul ball left side he'll see another swing and a miss and he struck him out back to back strikeouts chance to strike out the side now you talk about the benefits the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves knowing that they could miss the bat Tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Tucker stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Edge of the zone for a strike. And the count even one and one. Cole night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. At the belt and fires. Fights that one away, still one and two. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. And there's a hit. Around first, heading for two. Bay, relay to second, and he'll make it up to second as he advances on the throwing error. Now a move being made at second base, and here's the pinch runner, Jake Myers. Now it's Alex Bregman. 
right through there for a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Line drive, that's a base hit. Around third. He scores, and the Astros tie it up. It's four to four to second, but way too late safe there. Making a move at second base on the pinch run for Houston, David Hensley. Jose Abreu up to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Got him! That ends the inning. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. So coming into the game now on defense, Jake Myers. He takes over and right. Also entering the game, David Hensley. He's the new third baseman. Martinez back to work. Now playing third base. Steps on first for the out. Key Brian Hayes now at the plate. Bounce to the left side, down the line, and it's foul. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely, and that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Next to hit, Anthony Santander. He's going, brother. Step off. Oh, he jumped early. And they put the tag on him for the out. Right-handed reliever. On the ground. Over to Abreu. Third out. No runs. Bottom nine. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. The right-hander back to work. That one to first, and it's just foul. That was close. Tied at four. Line drive. Pulls it in, and there's one away. From up here, it looked like that liner might be splitting the gap in right center. That's one of those atom balls you just have to live with as a hitter. McCormick in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. That's down and in. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Swing and a miss. Next offering is foul back. Line drive, base hit. And the winning run is aboard. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Here's Corey Lee. Just off the outside part of the plate. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. 4-4 four, four in the ninth. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Kicks and fires. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Runner on the goal. Ball misses. And he throws it away. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now a wide throw to third. And the right-hander deals. Popped up. Squeezes it. Two down. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. 
Altuve. The next day, it takes low for a ball. Slapped foul. Next pitch misses inside. And a count to an wall. And strike two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going in there. That'll do it. Across is the winning run. And the Astros walk it off in game four. Well, in the postseason, there's so much excitement, so much energy, everyone hanging on every single pitch. To have a walk-off win under these circumstances, these people have gone crazy. The Houston Astros refuse to go quietly into that good night. There will be a game five in the World Series. Yeah, and I think they built some confidence here today. They may have a say in this series after all. And for a team that was on the verge of a sweep, they're going to have to rebound now. Yeah, they were maybe ready to start celebrating, and we'll see how they respond to a little bit of adversity, but they're still very much in control here. Minute Maid Park in Houston. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Houston Astros. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And as we get set for Game 5, Chris, it seems like this series could still have a few twists and turns in it. Well, being down three games to one, calling it a do-or-die game is no exaggeration. But these situations tell us a lot about a team's character. And for some teams, it brings out their absolute best. But for others, it kind of proved to be an overwhelming scenario to face. And so we'll see how they show up here today. And we'll also get to see what kind of killer instinct they have on the other side some teams can get a little too relaxed when they're so comfortably in the driver's seat first pitch coming your way next now michael brantley steps in one for two packed house here at minute Maid, and takes low for ball one and that one is inside. Rudd first with no outs here. Base hit into right center. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Right. And there's the strike. Next offering is outside. Swings and misses. One and two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he back foot slider struck him out. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning, and that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something. Tapped softly on the ground. Glove flipped to second. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Now it's Alex Bregman. There's a strike. Singy, this guy was a shortstop most of his life. He's transitioned very nicely to third base. And the power has come at the major league level. Tucker leads off first with two down to the inning. In the air, right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. 
And that ends the inning. A run, a hit, and a man left. Game five moves to the seventh inning now. Welcome back. Leading off, Rodolfo Castro. And a pitch. Ball one there. Ground ball left side. And it goes just foul. Chris Fromber Valdez has turned into one of the best pitchers in all of baseball. He's got that power sinker and the power cologne. And the power curveball as well. Just a joy to watch him pitch. It seems like he's been around a long time. Kind of an old soul, boo. Swing and he breaks his bat. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Got to feel pretty good for the pitcher. Absolutely sawed him off. Bat explodes. And then he makes an easy play on it. Pretty satisfying if you're out there on the ball. Rodriguez stands in here, takes ball one low. Yeah, just goes about his business, gets a lot of ground balls when they put it in play, and just loves being out there. And as for the cologne, makes him pitch better, he believes. I always thought Cologne made me smell better. He's there. He's got it. And there are two outs. Here's O'Neill Cruz. One for three. That hits the dirt. Ball one. Ball of a stake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. Awkward swing there from the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The one-two. Liner, base hit. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Reynolds stands in now, looks at that one inside. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes on the ground to third. Zips it to first, and that is that. Pirate. Bottom of the seventh, Jose Abreu up to hit. And the right hander back to work. Just no, off the not. outside edge. Well, these Astros, they just haven't been able to put the bat on the ball as often as they'd like. The strikeout has been a big issue, but at least they're going down swinging. Got to get the ball in play, though. It's time to change up the approach to focus on making simple contact and just go from there. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped right. it up. Pena in the box again. Takes a strike. Next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. One, one. one down, base is empty. Popped up. And there's two down. Here's the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. The center fielder. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. In there at the knees. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Swing and a miss. One, ball, two, One and two. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Struck him out looking. Astros go down one, two, three. Score remains two, two. Back here in Houston, here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. The designated hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. Valdez back to work. 
And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Hard ground ball base now. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so great job there stepping up to the challenge. Timing on the swing was good. Rafael Montero takes over on the mound. And here is C.J. Crone. Outfield deep here, tried to prevent anything over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Out towards left center. McCormick trying to get there. Snags it on the run. And there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Slice down the right side. Power relievers one after another coming out of the bullpen these days. Got to be ready for that first pitch heater. You'll one. This one popped up. Lee makes the grab. Two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent base. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Now move to first. And he's back in easily. High fly ball out towards left field. Alvarez going back, racing back some more. And it bangs off the wall. Go ahead run holds up at third as the ball comes back in. Second and third after the double. So two down at the plate for Pittsburgh. Anthony Santander. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three. So it's second and third occupied. They go for the intentional walk. Base is now loaded. And there's a force at every base. So digging in, Rodolfo Castro. Swing, and this ball is hammered. No doubt about it. Out of here. Grand slam. He circles the bases, and they lead it. It's 6-2. Just an unbelievable turn of events here. I mean, they've been putting together solid at bats all inning. They set the table for him, and he delivered big time to get him the lead. Huge momentum shift on that swing, and now we'll see if they can hold on. Astros go to the pen, and here comes Ryan Stanek. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And now the switch hitting catcher, Andy Rodriguez. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Stanek, 31 years old, a former first round pick back in 2013. And the righty deals. Foul ball there. And he'll two. One, two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Next offering is fouled back.
fly ball to right. Tucker should have it. Puts the squeeze on it. And that is the third out of the inning. Pirates played four on the Grand Slam. It's now 6-2. Bottom of the eighth. Here's Corey Lee. The catcher. Corey. New pitcher on here. Dwayne Underwood Jr. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. The pitch. Inside, just missed. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Big stack center field. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. Fired to second. On to Chrome. It's a double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Brantley at the plate with two away, swings through that one. Kicks and deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Left-hand hitter waits. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The 2 Brantley tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. Nope, he held back. Two outs. Stays alive. The one two. Bows it back with two strikes. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Ground ball up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. And that extends the inning. I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Man at first, and here is your Don Alvarez. Pitch misses there. 1 and 0. Oh. And that one is in for a strike. Brantley off of first with two away. The 1 1 is fouled off. And down on strikes. Out number three. So the Astros leave one. They still trail it here. It's six to two. We go to the ninth, and now the Pirates leadoff man, O'Neill Cruz. And a pitch. In the air, left side. Alvarez in position. And he makes the catch. And a quick out number one. A little drop and drive on that swing. Backside collapsing just a little bit. Trying to put the ball in the air. Brian Reynolds here. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Out of here. Brian Reynolds leaves the yard, and they tack one on the board. It's 7-2. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. And first offering is fouled off. 
part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The 0 1. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. The other way. He's got it, and there's two away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Crone stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next pitch misses way outside. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here or this could get ugly. Riding to the plate. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. He'll circle the bases and they add a run. It's 8-2. And with the six-run lead, there are fans that are starting to head to the exits. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the fresh shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Phil Maytop on the pitch here. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Not a swing you want to watch again. Got him looking. That's out number three. But they go deep twice in the inning, both solo shots. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. It's the Pirates eight and the Astros two. Back here at the ballpark, here's Kyle here Tucker. Pirates with a new arm on the mound, David Bednar. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. That one clips the outside corner. No balls, two strikes. Next offering is foul back. And one and two. One and two. The one one is fouled off. And the pitch. Got him swinging. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. Oh, and that, that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that one same one. tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. At the belt and fires. And that's in the dirt. Two and two. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And a pinch. And he gets Bregman. And the struggles continue in the postseason. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he now punches that. out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. And that's a base hit. 
Joey gets on base and keeps it going. So next up for Houston, Jeremy Pena. And that's in there for strike one. Abreu, the runner at first with two gone. Pitches in the dirt, one and one. And now one strike away. And that's it. They are World Series champions. Congratulations to the World Series champions. Incredibly special team. So proud of these guys. I know the fans back in their hometown. Everybody going nuts right now. It's going to be such an amazing reception when these guys return home. Welcome back on the show as we see some of the final moments and reactions in this World Series clinching game. And now let's go down on the field where they're set to present the commissioner's trophy to the World Series champs. Chris Singleton and our outstanding crew, I'm John Chomby. This has been the World Series on MLB The Show.